Speedrunning. Completing a game as fast as possible. Usually streamed or recorded. I have always wanted a reason to get into speedrunning. Up until now, I was absolutely garbage at a ton of video games. Sometimes I thought I was really, really good. And then, like, for example, Smash Brothers, I made the unfortunate decision to click the unholy online button. And I got my trash absolutely handed the frick to me. <sighs> but now I found my own game Star Wars Battlefront 2. No, not that one. The good one. I started to stream a game of Galactic Conquest on Twitch, which took me about three hours between two streams to finish. It was pretty fun, but then my mind made an amazing connection. I quickly zoomed to the speedrunning website thing and looked up my favorite game of all time. Lo and behold, it was there. Galactic Conquest Empire with only six submissions. This is it. My chance to make it into those leaderboards. Only thing I had to do was try to get less than three hours. I figured during the stream, if I took my time, it took me about three hours. So if I rushed, I could easily get under three hours. Oh, how wrong I was. Now, before I get into the actual run itself, let me explain some issues I had to deal with in order to get this game up to snuff. First, the game just loved to blink out of existence every so often while I was playing it. It took me a few days to figure this one out. I'd be in the middle of playing and then all of a sudden, nothing. I could hear the audio, just couldn't see anything. At first, I figured it might be something wrong with my graphics card and this old game just not working right. But no, that didn't seem right. I then wondered if it could possibly be that it needs to be in window mode. So I cracked open Steam, threw in some hacker stuff, but that didn't work out either. Turns out it was our old friend Discord. I just needed to exit out of it and then the, uh, the overlay would not interfere with it. So. Thanks Discord. Second, the aspect ratios of this game are all over the place. It fits my screen pretty decently while I'm playing, but on the stream, it bounces between tiny square and big boy game mode. I don't understand it, and I don't want to take the time to figure it out, so for the footage, just bear with me. Anywho, now onto the run itself. At the start of the stream, I was not planning to do a run. I was going to go through each of the levels, try some strategies, and see how I could do better. However, after destroying the foolish rebels on my Guido more times than I could count, I just decided to full send it. I had about two and a half hours before I had to leave to go see Noel Miller live, which highly recommended by the way, and I figured I could probably get it done in time, so I started the run. But we wanted a better spawn, so after rereading the guides a few times, I started again. The spawn looked pretty decent and I was ready to embark on the fastest galaxy conquering the southwest United States has ever seen. Now I'm not going to go through the entire run detail for detail, but I want to mention some highlights. First up, Megiddo. I had practiced this map so many times and I was ready for this, at least I thought I was. The strat was to book it to command post 2, kill everyone there and everyone who was trying to head to 3, and then forge a path of laser fire all the way to number 1. It went alright, I ended up completing the entire map in about 4.5 minutes. Unfortunately, this was not our only visit to this planet. Next was Mustafar. The planet went by pretty quick, if you buy Anakin at least. Spawn across the bridge, dash the control room, and murder every rebel in there and capture the post. From there, I ran around, captured the rest, ending in about 2.5 minutes. From there, we had a space battle lasting 7 minutes, then an assault on Yavin 4, which we conquered in 5 minutes. After Yavin 4, the Empire had one of the most efficient attacks on Felucia. Within two and a half minutes, the entirety of this fairly large map was conquered. There you go. That was pretty good. That was really good. Victory is within our Felucia. Ground. That was about two minutes, maybe? So, like, how long was that? I wasn't counting. You probably weren't either, but tell me. The rebels were not happy. So. They decided to do an all-out assault on Maigido again, which was quickly shut down. And they're going to Maigido. Don't they know that I've mastered this one? Then I had to unfortunately touch down on the disgusting planet of Kashyyyk, because for some reason the Empire wants it. After the Wookiee genocide, Master Skywalker requested help with the toddler tyrants of Coruscant, and we quickly eradicated the remaining Jedi. However, this is where I made a major mistake. In order to explain my mistake, I kind of need to explain the AI manipulation in this run. 
the AI does not always make the same choices every turn, or at least every time you reload it. So if you save right before the AI takes its turn, you can reload and just keep reloading and reloading until they choose the path that you want them to go, usually away from your planets. Uh, therefore, you spend less time defending your planets in battles and more time progressing and conquering other planets. My mistake, however, was forgetting to save. Well earned credit. No, don't go to Corazon. Ah, <laughs> oh, I messed this up. After I took over Coruscant, I reloaded because the AI went somewhere I didn't want them to. And that's when I realized I hadn't saved the match with Coruscant. So I redid the entire match and this ended up costing me an extra six to seven minutes. So, oof. After this blunder, the enemy decided to engage in another drawn out space battle. After destroying their ship for the nth time, we progressed our army toward the dregs of Dagobah, where we had some help from Darth Vader to quickly conquer the swamp. I guess the rebels are masochists because after their humiliation on Dagobah, they decided to try Mustafar again, aka the planet where I beat them in a shorter amount of time it takes for some people to use the urinal. As per usual, I gave them a slice of Sith flavored humbled pie and continued on my merry way to Utapau, Kashyyyk, ugh, and then Polis Masa. The first two we had some firepower from the daimyo of Masa's by himself, Boba Fett. On Polis Masa, however, the Empire I guess got tired of sitting around and wanted to do some evil himself, so he helped show us what 5,000 volts of electricity does to some rebel scum. After this puny meteor base was wiped from its existence, we barreled on through to their base on Hoth. Turns out, you only need to capture like some of the command posts, not all of them, so GG, easy. From here, our empire had its sight on the most popular and drama-focused planet of the galaxy, Tatooine. However, in a Hail Mary attempt, the rebel tacticians decided their best course of option was to try a third space battle, somehow not learning to increase their in-ship defenses. After this celestial speed bump, we charged straight ahead to Arrakis. With the help of Muad'Dib and the Shai Hulud- oh, oh, wrong universe, sorry. Yeah, so Boba Fett showed up and after becoming the benevolent ruler of Mos Espa, decided to help us eradicate the entire population of Maz Eisley for some cold heart credits. Having secured the victory, I assumed it was time to press stop on that timer. Unfortunately, there was one thing I forgot. This last little troop of ships decided to take on Kashyyyk, my favorite planet. This troop of 150 decided to take on the Empire that had just finished the military equivalent of a Valorant Ace in a 150v the entire galaxy match. After an easy victory, I could finally stop that timer. My final time was 1 hour, 47 minutes, and 14 seconds. You can see it right here on the website. The number one guy actually even verified it and DM'd me saying good job, which I really appreciated. You're amazing. Now, just like the Empire, I am not content with this single victory. I have developed the itch and have dedicated myself to the statistical crusade of this leaderboard. One day, my name will be a top of this board and you will think to yourself, you will think, that one time you think you saw him on YouTube? You're not sure. Anyways, thanks for watching this little video about my speedrunning experience. I stream not every day, but most days on Twitch. It doesn't have a set time yet, I'm trying to figure out my schedule still. But if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure to follow me on Twitch where I'll be doing uh, live speedruns of Battlefront 2, my favorite game, the best game ever of all time. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see what when I go live. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and it helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, okay.